Prometheus on, donated $100. Yeah, thank you, Prometheus. Hey, Brian, are you aware of Lizzo body shaming? My apology for the interruption of the conversation <laughs> being presented. Hashtag flannel bros for life. Yeah, thank you, Prometheus. Appreciate it. Flannel bros for life. Um, Aware of the Lizzo body shaming? You didn't hear apology? this. Is there, just, is there Lizzo something? body shamed her backup dancers and also forced them to eat bananas off of, I think Let, it was sex let's workers keep it, in LA. Let's keep it huh? tame here. Um, yeah, I heard, I heard the story, but is it she body shamed? Yeah, she said that they were like too overweight, her backup <laughs> dancers, which is, is oh, so uh, funny. Okay. The irony of that. Um, I think I saw something about that. I'm not sure how it's not particularly related to uh, dating, though. So. I have a question. Uh-huh. What's up with the uh, like Lizzo? Like, I feel like because I've watched this podcast a few times. Like, why does Lizzo like? Why is she like the the one like overweight woman that gets brought up? Like, what about Adele or like we the rest really, of them? <laughs> I mean, we don't really bring up Lizzo. I don't know. I feel like she gets brought We've, up a lot. No, I think we've maybe brought her up like three or four podcasts. Um, Just all the ones I watched. She's also the I one suppose. that I feel like that's like very like puts herself out there. Mm-hmm. Sorry. No, you, puts oh, herself fine, out just... there a lot. So I feel like that's probably why also. I think she glorifies her obesity. Yeah. I think that's where it becomes a problem for people. Yeah. I think the context where we have brought Lizzo up is. Is Lizzo a 10? Yeah, right, so like yeah. when we do, no. like, what do you rate yourself on a scale of 1 to 10? People are like, oh, everyone's a 10. I'm like, is Lizzo a 10? Um, I think we should get the bodybuilding yeah. girls to weigh in, weigh in on this one. What do you guys think? I was thinking you were going to do that. Um, <laughs> we have a pretty similar take. Is it okay if I... Yeah, yeah go ahead. All right. Go ahead. Um, I mean, obviously, you're going to look how you look, and it's different for everybody how they got there, but we... The body positivity movement is definitely iffy in our eyes. We're obviously um, not not incredibly supportive of it. I think Sorry, we both think that health is really important. Mm-hmm. And if you are actively trying to make a change, if you're, say, at an unhealthy weight, that's amazing. You know, kudos to you. But I think that the way you take care of yourself in terms of that and other stuff reflects the way you feel about yourself. So if I see you and you look unhealthy and you are not doing anything about it simply because you're lazy and you want to bring up body positivity as an excuse, mm. I'm not going to have respect for you. Mm. I think that the, I agree. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that the body positivity movement, like she said, is an excuse to not work hard. Mm-hmm. Which obviously, I want to acknowledge that we came from an easier starting place than someone who's like morbidly obese. So I have empathy for a different situation, but in any case. I think that the body positivity movement has been like hijacked by a bunch of like inclusive social justice warriors. And I think that like you can't tell me someone who's morbidly obese is happy with themselves. No. And I've seen it all not. over social media. Like, oh, I'm so happy I'm doing this. They're going to be dead by the time they're yeah. like 35 if they keep like eating themselves away. Um, and I think that it also sends a really bad message to like younger people who are scrolling on social media and being like, this is okay. I can do this. And it's really not at all. And it's, it's really disgusting, to be honest. It's definitely a coping mechanism for sure. <laughs> the lightest terms, yeah. Yeah, and I mean, the body positivity mov- movement originally started with things that were out of your control. Like if you had, mm-hmm. like a, if you were an amputee mm-hmm. or you had like mm-hmm. a scar or, you know, some genetic thing. And I, I already got it. I already got it. Um, so, uh, but it's transformed into let's just, it's totally healthy at any size. You're healthy at 400 pounds. That's uh, well, it distorted what the meaning of healthy even is, and then created this entire movement of young girls that are like, Well, I can eat whatever I want and do whatever I want with zero consequences. And then you have people that are overweight, you know, dealing with heart problems. I mean, heart problems are very rapidly growing in the United States. And I mean, we have an entire generation of kids that are becoming obese with zero consequences. Mm -hmm. To be fair, there are also skinny people who we haven't been into nutrition for that 
that long, mm-hmm. so obviously at one point this was me. But there's skinny people who are eating whatever they want, and even though they True. might look healthy, you're mm-hmm. not. So mm-hmm. not only is it physical appearance, but even if you look good, you should be focusing on your nutrition. Mm-hmm. That. I totally agree. Yeah. No, I used to weigh, and you don't believe me because you guys don't know me, but like three years ago, I weighed under 100 pounds. It was really hard for me to put on weight. And then all of a sudden, I just gained a bunch of weight, probably because I'm, I was like stripping, so I was very active. And mm-hmm. then once that mm-hmm. stopped, um, so I definitely see like the difference of being like a very skinny person to now where I'm like pushing overweight. Um, and it's weird for me because. It's our society like likes the over like overweight stuff. Like I get way more attention from men now that I'm a little bit bigger than I did when I was skinny. But I I like how I was when I was skinny before. Mm-hmm. And I felt a lot better and my just my body felt mm-hmm. better. So I mean, once this you know disability thing is over, then I'm definitely gonna try to lose weight. <laughs> Do you think that um, I don't know how to put it men liking bigger girls is a niche fetish or do you think it's widespread um in my experience it seems kind of widespread I mean I remember when I was super skinny I mean I was insecure about being skinny Mm -hmm. and I like wanted to gain weight so when I started to gain weight I was like happy about it and then now I mean it's so weird I talk about this all the time with like my friends and family I'm like I feel like I'm going to be very frank right now. I feel like the least attractive I ever have in my life, but I feel like I get like the most attention I ever have in my life. I ever have. Mm-hmm. 